Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 64 of Lightroom Quick Tips. Those of you that visit my website or watch my videos probably know that I often run ads advertising my Lightroom presets. And when I do these ads, I often like to put an amusing picture, something to grab the viewer's attention so they see the ad. And as you might imagine, I often get emails from folks asking me how I processed that image or how I captured that image. Now this specific picture was run with a Lightroom preset ad and it generated a lot of emails from folks asking me how I got this look. Well, it's very easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it. And for reference, here is the original image, just a studio shot. Of course, the smoke was added in Photoshop. That's pretty easy to do. Maybe someday I'll do a video on how to do that. But we kind of get this kind of grunge portrait look. And to do it, what you do is open the image up in Lightroom. And what we're going to do is we go to the tone curve first. And make sure you're in the point curve. Those of you that aren't familiar with the tone curve, there's actually two curves built into one in this tab. If you click right here, right now we're in the region curve. You see that we have sliders. So if you have sliders, just click right here again. So the sliders go away and now we're in the point curve and that's what we want to work with. So what I do first is I go to this bottom left hand corner. Now a lot of these adjustments are by feel. I don't really have a specific number I put stuff on and it will vary from image to image and it kind of varies by my mood too. So it's really up to you to kind of experiment with these adjustments and get it to something that you like. What I'll do is though I'll go to this bottom left hand corner and I drag this in and it varies again. And I just look at the image and just keep dragging it in until I think I like what I see. Uh, pretty as simple. I mean, it's as simple as that. So in this case, right here maybe, just as we have this one block right here, I'm, I'm maybe, I don't know, two-thirds to three-quarters across that first block. Then what I do is I go up into the top right-hand corner, and I just drag this straight down just a little bit. See, it's just going to make the image a little darker. So we just want to bring it down just a little bit. Oops, not that much. Maybe right around there. Now you could come back and readjust these later. So for starters, that looks okay. So I'm done with the tone curve for now. Then what I do is I jump up to the basic panel and I go right to contrast. I bring contrast up. And usually I found it's like between 20 and 30 on most of the image but again it's by feel and it's going to be by your own you know likes and dislikes how you like to do it but in this image I think 29 is okay now what I have found is that I usually bring shadows all the way up I just open up shadows because we pretty much made it a lot darker with the tone curve adjustment and with that contrast adjustment so I bring shadows all the way up then I go to clarity and clarity I bring up pretty high um, probably like between 20 and 30, 35 maybe at the most. 32 looks good right there. Now we want to kind of suck some of this color out of it, get that kind of grunge look. So I go to saturation and I'll bring saturation down. And usually I found that I'm between 20 and 30 on minus 20 and 30 on saturation. So we, we've kind of got this grunge look going now. Now to really push it over the top, I go to the detail panel and I'll bring sharpening way up. I'm talking like ridiculously high, uh, maybe like 125 or so. Then I'm going to zoom in and you can see we have the grunge look already. And if you really want to, you know, push it even more, go to the radius slider and push radius to the right. Um, you know, if you go way up, you can probably see it really is, if you look at her, let's say eyebrows here or in her hair, you can see the difference the radius slider makes. So I'll bring that up around two or so, plus two. And um, that's it. That's the grunge look. There's before and there's after. There's before and there is after. So this look really works very well with, you know, images that you want to, you know, they're not going to be like, you know, uh, you know, a wedding portrait or anything like that, or, you know, an engagement uh, session, but something that you need funny, uh, maybe for a poster. Uh, they work real well with sport images, when you, especially with men, where you want the men to look extra masculine, um, 
this works really well. Football players, soccer players, stuff like that really, really um, bring out muscle tone and detail and things like that. So um, use it, um, you know, get it to the, the settings the way you like it. And again, it probably will vary image to image. So thank you everyone that watches my videos. I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon.